Generally speaking, developing a new aircraft takes a very long time. That means years, at times decades spent researching and testing everything that goes into a plane, making sure every bit of hardware and software works as intended. Yet, a small aviation company called Hermius managed to do it in a little over a year. Established back in 2018, Hermius has its sights set on hypersonic airplanes, to be used both by the military and by civilians. That would be pieces of hardware capable of flying at speeds of at least Mach 5, reaching their destination much faster than everything currently available. The ultimate goal of the company is to build something called the Halcyon, an airliner that should be capable of cutting travel times between London and New York from over 8 hours to just 1 hour and a half. The Halcyon is still a long way in the future, but the technologies that will eventually go into it are already being put through their paces, thanks to a series of prototypes called Quarterhorse. And the first one of the breed, the MK-1, just took to the sky for the first time at the Edwards Air Force Base in California. Development of the MK-1 started about a year ago, so the guys over at Hermes have been pretty quick in taking it from the drawing board to the sky. Granted, the thing does look a bit like an unfinished fighter jet and it's not crude, but that doesn't make the accomplishment any less impressive. The General Electric J85 jet engine on wheels and wrapped in metal conducted a series of ground tests at the same base at the end of last year, meant to validate its systems. And it took off last week in a bid for Hermius engineers to get a better sense of the plane's high-speed takeoff and landing requirements and capabilities. We're not being given the specifics of test flight things like altitude, speed, and flight duration remain under wraps. But Hermius seems pleased enough to announce that the project has now validated pretty much everything from aerodynamics to propulsion and from stability and control to flight software and telemetry. Research on the MK-1 will continue in the coming months, but the focus will soon fall on the Quarterhorse MK-2. This prototype is currently being assembled at Hermius headquarters in Atlanta, using data gathered during the testing of the MK-1. The MK-2 will not be powered by the same General Electric J85 jet engine, but by a Pratt & Whitney F-100 engine, which is the power plant currently used in F-15 and F-16 fighter jets. The hardware will not work alone to give the plane supersonic speeds, but accompanied by pre-cooler engine technology that should make it easier for it to reach speeds of Mach 2.5. The new plane, which will be the size of an F-16, thus larger than the MK-1, is expected to take off later this year, and at doing so it will become the world's first HIMOC autonomous aircraft, that's right, it too will be uncrewed. If all goes well with the MK-2, 2026 should bring about a third prototype, called the MK-3. It too will use the Pratt & Whitney F-100 engine, but this time disguised as something called the Chimera. That would be a turbine-based combined cycle engine, a world first and something that should be more than enough to take the prototype hypersonic. The engine setup is supposed to operate in turbine mode at lower speeds, just like jet aircraft do today, and switch to a ramjet mode as soon as higher Mach speeds are reached. MK3 should demo the transition between the two modes in flight. Hermius does not say whether the MK3 will be uncrewed as well, but the aircraft will go after a speed record set by a crewed spy plane. More specifically, this version of the Quarterhorse is meant to beat the speed record set by the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. Back in 1976, this aircraft, flown by Major General Eldon Wayne George and Lieutenant Colonel George T. Morgan Jr., managed to reach speeds of Mach 3, making these two airmen the fastest humans in the air, a title they still hold to this day. The technologies that will go into the MK-3 are pretty much the same ones Hermius announced for the Halcyon, and the successful flight of a prototype using them will be a major step in the right direction.